I'm Carrie. Welcome to another Spider Tech instructional video. We're going to look at the full knee spider today. So remember, before you put any of the spiders on, you want to make sure that the area is clean and dry, free of any hair, lotion, and oils. So we we'll begin. Alex is going to show us how simple it is that you can apply it yourself in any setting. First, you're going to bend all the black lines and tear those perforations. You want to make sure that you tear all the perforations before you start applying it to the skin. Once you have all the perforations, you can create one in the middle, which makes it a little bit easier to put on, of section number one, and then fold those edges back a little bit. And you want that to be in the center of your knee, below your kneecap, in that little squishy space. And then you're gonna peel off the backing of either side of section number one, I'm going to let it lay on the skin. And then you're going to peel the backing off of section number two. You're going to take it so it's about three-fourths of the way up, fold it back to have a tab, and then you'll stretch it so it goes halfway up your thigh and just on the other side of midline. And then you can peel the rest of the backing off, allowing the tape to adhere to the skin. Once the tape's on, you can rub from the start to finish. There you go. And then you'll repeat and do the same thing on the other side. Peel the backing back, fold it so you have a tab to hang on to. And then you'll stretch the tape to get it halfway up the thigh. And then take the rest of the backing off. Then you're going to take section number three, and straighten the leg, and you'll take the backing off and lay the tape on the skin without any stretch. Okay, and then you'll do the same thing on the other section, number three. Take all the tension out of the tape and then lay it on the skin. And then you're gonna rub over those sections to make sure that they're gonna stay on. Okay, then you're gonna bend the knee and we're gonna go to the lower part and you'll take section number four Peel the backing three-fourths of the way down and fold it to make that tab. Lay it on the skin without any stretch, just on the other side of the shin bone. And then you can take the remaining of the backing of number four off. Once the tape's on the skin, you want to rub all the corners to make sure that it's going to stay on. Okay. And then you'll do the other section, number four, on the other side. Peel the backing off, fold it over to make a tab. There you go. And then lay it on the skin with no stretch. And then peel the remaining part of the backing off. You want to make sure that you keep your fingers off the adhesive side of the tape. And then you're going to straighten your leg and you'll do one of the section number five. Peel the backing off, lay it on the skin with no stretch. And then you want to do the same thing with the other section, number five. Make sure you take all the stretch out of the tape. Once the application is on the skin, then vigorously rub over the top of it so you really make sure that all the corners, all the sections are down so the tape's going to stay on for its intended time of three to five days. And now he's ready, he'll go through surfing, any water sports, showering, and all the other sports he wants to do. So you're ready to go? Ready to go, sir. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.